interrupted the hypnotherapy session. What did she interrupt? Well, she, I was, you know, I was talking about the night that David was murdered. I was talking about the, the feelings that came up that night. The, the feelings for Greenlee. The feelings that were there. But yeah, I mean, yeah, feelings for Greenlee. Look, the feelings for Greenlee, that's in the past. It's in the past. She said that when she came back, okay? We're, we're not good for each other. And I know, what, I know what you're up to here, okay? But every time that we think that we're just about to get it right, it's like, it's like we just kind of go up in flames. Yeah, well, I, I lit the match a few times well, myself. This time was, Kendall, it was different this time. She came back and, and she shut me out of her life, okay? And I tried, I tried for as long as I possibly could, but there's only so many times you can bang your head against the wall before you realize that it's over. It's over. Okay? It's time to shut that part out of my life. It's out. So you don't love her anymore? I can't love her anymore. Yeah, I'm such an idiot. I've been telling Ryan to be careful, to protect himself no matter what. And that's what he's been doing this whole time. Getting together with Madison. Keeping his feelings from me. He's protecting himself. You have to really see that Greenlee and I, together, there's collateral damage, all right? People get hurt, people, people die. All right, first of all, you have to stop doing that. Doing, doing what? To stop acting like you're responsible for David's death. Kendall, there, there's a very strong chance that I am, okay? That is the point here. No, no, the point is what actually happened. And Ryan, we don't know what that is. No, the point is I am not good for Greenlee, okay? And honestly, she's not good for me. You can either do to Ryan what he did to you, which is get up, walk away, or you can fight. What's it gonna be? Do you believe things happen for a reason? I did. And then I didn't. And now, now I think I do again. I do too. I believe that God has some master plan that there's a point to my being scared, disoriented, lost. And that when I wake up, not knowing if it's still night or, or a new morning, that there is something to learn from that. Maybe there is. Maybe. But what I'm having trouble with, though, is how on earth could it benefit me not to be able to see into my husband's eyes. Admire the gorgeous smiles on my son and daughter's faces. This baby. You know, some parents, they can hardly wait the nine months until they know what their child looks like, and I will never know. I will never, ever see my baby's face. But you'll know your baby's laugh. You'll know your baby's skin. Angie, you will know your child. It's not the same. Nothing is the same. You know, they say that God never gives you more than you can handle. i just been lying to everybody. I've been lying to myself. Because I can't handle this. I, I, I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to handle it. I don't want to. So, what's your next move? I'm going to let Ryan take the lead. You know, I, I put him through so much, pushing him away, I can't just turn around and ask him to forget all that. You and Ryan, boy. Together and apart. 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 Together. You see where I'm going with this? Together and always. Together. I'll always care about Ryan. Always. But I can't dwell on that right now. I mean, he's got a murder rap hanging over his head. I have to find a way to convince him he didn't do it. Oh, I see that is something I can I can get behind. Sign me up. No, you know what? You've 
carried my load enough for one day. Carry it. Look at you. You're like there's a feather. I can carry a load. You see me? Get a load. Right. What? You don't see anything? I'm right here to help you. I'm right here. Well, you got what you want because you already did. Thank you. And I'll peel the carrots. Well, that way no one loses a finger, right? Look at you cracking a joke. Well, yeah, we'll just make sure no one hears it. But... Oh, we're too late, aren't we? Because I know that Natalia just came in, didn't she? You got that sense. Oh. You got that sense, huh? It looks like you guys are doing well. Yes, we are. This guy right here, he knows how to cut right through it. I also know how to cut through carrots, too. Watch out. Listen, all jokes aside, you know just what to say and when to say it. You guys are like my family, and that's what family does. And this family member likes to eat at a decent hour, so how about you keep on that spinach? Yes, sir. <laughs> Need some help? Uh, how about you work on those potatoes? All right. <laughs> you know, I just saw my dad at the station. I don't think he's going to be making it for dinner. Oh, well, that just means it's more food for you. That should be a good thing. Excuse me? I, I'm just saying, I've never seen a woman eat as much as you can. Oh! Well, listen, it takes a lot of energy to stay this fierce, fierce. okay? Fierce, yeah, yeah, whatever. That's whatever, detective. You know what? You, you, see this? You are unbelievable. <laughs> yes, Officer Smith. I know. What you? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Don't just catch me. Oh, Randy just left. I know. Came back to see you. Oh, ah. Uh... I don't think that's such a good idea. Whoa, Kimosabi. I just want to, you know, talk. Randy heard us before. She had no idea that you and I had left the party together. Uh, what'd you tell her? The truth. Or most of it. That I was drunk and you looked out for me. She wasn't happy. Kind of like Natalia the other day. Your sister thinks there's something going on between us. You and Greenlee staying away from each other. Right. Okay, can we get real for one second here? This, this is real, Kendall. This is, this is very real. But Ryan, do you honestly think you can just turn it off, to click, just like that? I've already moved on. With Madison? Yes. With Madison. I think we can be really good together. I, I honestly think that I could make her happy. Okay, well, that's good for her. What about you? Get this. Judge Larder <clears throat> took my word that you are not a flight risk, but he wants more insurance. Okay, please tell me I don't have to wear an ankle monitor. You got a problem with that? Work for Annie. Yeah, 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 she's my idol. No house arrest, no monitor. But get this. Larder also wants you to be aware of her location at all times. I got it. That's great. That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Really. Don't make me regret this. You won't, I promise. Let's, please, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Hey, let me know how it goes with that therapist, okay? It's Greenlee. Um, I need to see you. It's about David's murder. Now, give that one to Brock. Uh-oh, you know, I'm still here. You know that, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Well, look at you. You're going to start charging. You keep that up. You know what? I'll get that. Don't worry about it. You know he really digs you. Right. No. I can hear it in his voice, the way he talks about you, to you. How do you not hear it, too? Hey! Randy, what are you doing knocking on the door? You know you can just let yourself in. Sorry, Angie, habit, I guess. Where's Frankie? I don't know, weird. I thought for sure he would have beat me here. Natalia is... wrong. Is she? What is that supposed to mean? Yes, 
I was drunk, and you did help me. But come on, Frankie, there's more than that, and we both know it. Thank you so much, Brian. I, I hope Max doesn't mind that I'm crashing here with you and the boys. No, if she could get through the whole greenly drama, this is not going to bother her, believe me. Yeah, well, she is a better person than I am, that's for sure. I'd have gone nuts by now. She's probably wanted to a couple times, you know, but she's just... I don't know, Madison, is just, she's just different. She's incredible. She's incredibly understanding. That's yes, she's sure. the opposite of Greenlee, who is irrational. She's, she's predictable, d demanding. Yes, but in a, in a good way. Yeah, I guess, sometimes. You know, you think that you might not need those qualities in your life, Ryan, but what if you do? I had those qualities, okay? I had them. Didn't work, remember? Greenlee's under your skin, Ryan. She is. I mean, even just, just the, the, the way you say her name is obvious. What's not obvious is what you're going to do about it. So what are we doing here, Greenlee? I killed David. 